Stand by here. Yeah. Colton sounded pretty sure of himself. Well, he got as far as the 10th. Well, let's just hope he can make it to Camargo's room. We gotta know what's going on up there. All right, look, let's go through this. Look, not one kid. Oh, Nat, I know he's Sorry to interrupt, it. guys. The kids have something they would like to talk to you about. Hi, Dad. We get an idea for you. A great, oh, great idea. Oh, wait a second. You didn't think hey, of wait, it. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What, what are you doing bringing them up here now? This is no place for you kids, believe me. Uh, I told you he gets mad. I'm not mad. I just... I have a crisis to deal with here. Dad, we came here to help you. You might want to listen to him, uh, Honey, Robert. if you I really do want to help, just get out of here and go home, all right? That's it. That's exactly it. See, we can get in and out easier than both you guys can. Yeah, you know the Kraken General Hospital's wall? I could climb right to it. You know, they may have something here. I mean, they could get up to the sealed off floors. I mean, through the vents, to the laundry chutes, so can I. Yeah, he is skinny, but not like me and Robin. Me and Robin can fly like bullets. Please, Daddy, we can get to Mom. This is... This is preposterous. I have no intention of allowing my daughter to be part of any of this madness. I'm not suggesting your daughter. I'm just suggesting you think about the idea in general. So that's basically the story. Well, it sounds like there's hope. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Show, Amy. She was great. Yeah, I'm gonna get my own TV series. Mm. Thank God Tony picked up on your signal. Oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, General Stark, we wonder what had happened to you. Oh. Well, I'm glad to see you're all here in a concert for. Hmm? I've been waiting for you. Why didn't you come? Where? To Camargo's room. I didn't know I was summoned. Our president has regained consciousness. Ah. Good. Very good. General, oh, we, we need to talk to you about some things. Yes, later. Uh, keep a hearing on this. Stupid idea. I will not discuss it any further. Dad, this is a very good idea. Uh, actually, I second that thought, Robert. But not with you, sweetheart. Look, Sean is right. Infiltration happens to be one of our jobs. Well, King can do it once. <laughs> he said, oh, man. You don't feel bad. You've got him thinking hey, about it. How about me? What? You're not qualified for any of this. Hey, you know my neighborhood. I'm not afraid of anything. He's got family up there, Robert. He's just concerned. I gotta do something to help my sister. You know, given a couple hours, we might be able to train him to handle a gun and make his way around, Sean. Hmm. Possibility. Look, I'll give you it's an interesting idea to get your mother out. Maybe, perhaps. Then let's do it. Look, yeah, yeah, you people have done your part. Why don't the four of us look at this floor plan? Robert? Okay. Right here. It would be good. Get started. <laughs> oh, Catherine, you're back. Yeah, is Robert here? Uh, was he supposed to be? Well, no, but he wasn't at the airport either. Was he supposed to be? No, but uh, it would have been nice if he would have shown up to meet me. Oh, well, it certainly would have, but he's probably busy. Listen. You don't have to make excuses for him. He's pretty good at that himself. Oh, darling, I wasn't making excuses. I... Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Della Fields. Uh, oh, yes, ma'am. I know how disappointed you were that Mr. Jones' show was canceled. Uh, no, we don't know when he'll be performing again. But, but I have good news for you. Yes, Miss Della Fields here, and she'll be performing regularly. <laughs> you just call for reservations. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Bye-bye. Ah, Mary, Frisco's show is canceled. How come? He didn't say. And you have no idea where Robert is, either. Mm -mm. Something's going on again. No, Robin's right. Look at these air shafts, Robert. Someone small enough, somebody thin enough can but fit in I, there. I told yeah. you, I'm your man here. I, I said no. Oh, come on, let us do it. Yeah. No! Oh. All right, all right, now, let's calm down. Kids, we told you before, a situation like this calls for trained personnel. Someone like, something like a, a, a SWAT team, right? Oh, come on, Sean. Those guys are mostly built like linebackers. Yeah. They'd never be able to get in those little What about cadets? Shafts. All right, some of those might be smaller. Come on, they're barely oh, halfway through. Train. Robert, this is a specific operation. Give me a few arrows, I'll be able to train them in what they need to know. It's worth a shot. Do it. Wait, wait. Teach me. 
Lewis and I are not meant to be privy to this conversation. Come on, man. That's my sister up there. Besides, you don't got much time. You got that right. Prisco? You understand the risk here? Yeah. Let's go. We're going to. No! Yeah! Oh, come on! I want to do it! That was the plan. That's it. Well, then let's... Give it a rest, Robin. Look, you brought him in here. Let's go, kids. Move it. You heard me. Let's go. Oh, oh, marching out. Here we go. Downstairs to the cafeteria so. right now. Do it better. Here we go. Move on. Thanks. They are great kids, you know. Yeah. I just wish my daughter's mother could tell us what's going on up there. I hate this. I really do. Mm. Just take it easy. Mm. Yeah, we're going to be all right, Amy. You think Stark's bluffing? No. I don't think he's crazy. I think he's really committed to what he's doing. Is there some way we could get in touch with anybody on the outside? Colton's doing that. Think we're going to get out of here in one piece? Yeah. You know, this is really hard on our families. they got to be worried sick about us. So you are. I'm sure when the boys are in school, you must be worried to death about seeing one of the baby. Yeah, yeah, well... I know they can't go through that hearing without me there. I mean, even Harrison isn't that insensitive. I haven't heard from Colton. I just hope he's convinced Camargo not to give Stark that bank account number. Yeah. Once he's got that, he doesn't care whether Camargo lives or dies. Yeah. He won't care about any of the rest of us either. And don't tell me that I'm crazy. No, I won't. What are you doing? Uh, well, I'm just trying to stay out the way. You're not going anywhere. Presidente, please. We must know your Swiss bank account number. Do you remember? What? What is it? Assassin. Robert. Robert, that's a cold man. Can you bring me to come in? We're here. Over. Home with Camargo. I got to him, but I don't know if I was able to convince him not to give Stark the number. But Tony is with us. And one more thing. They just moved Camargo to the eighth floor. Over. Listen, Colton, you've got to buy us some time. Over. How much? Over. As much as you can. Over. Yeah, right. I'll see what I can do. Over. And listen, if you can, inform Anna and the others. Over. Roger that. Over and out. At least Camargo's still alive. Let's hope he stays that way. <laughs>